All right, the last chunk to our lesson 1-1 one -one is question 10 only. This would be section 5, last section here. The first thing I want to talk about is the previous slide should have given you two math terms. The first one was an expression may consist of numbers, variables, and operations. Operations being your add, subtract, multiply, divide. Those are your most common operations. The second vocab word you would have seen was a variable is a letter or symbol used to represent an unknown quantity. So let's take a look at what's going on here. It says each term in the sequence above can be written using the first term and repeated addition of the common difference. For example, the first term is 5. The second term would be 5 plus 3. The third term would be expressed as 5 plus 3 plus 3, or 5 plus 2 times 3. Similarity, similarly, sorry, the terms in the sequence of the next eruption times can also be written using this repeated addition of the common difference. A asks, what is the approximate waiting times for the next eruptions after eruptions lasting four and five minutes using their repeated addition of the common difference? So you're going to write something along these lines with this add I mean, a number plus the same number repeatedly. Okay. B, model with mathematics. Let N represent the number of minutes in an eruption last. Write an expression, which means there's no equal sign, using a variable, n, that could be used to determine the waiting time until the next eruption. Part C. Check the accuracy of your expression by evaluating it when n is 2. Lastly, use your expression to determine the number of minutes a visitor to the park must wait to see another eruption of Old Faithful after a 12-minute eruption. I want you to take the next seven minutes, you and your table mates, to discuss these and work through A through D for question number 10. A through D, seven minutes. Go ahead and pause your video. All right. The answers to questions 10A through D have now been provided for you. I started off with the four minutes, and that was 46 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12. 46 was our starting value, or our first term, and then we added 12, added 12, added 12. Or we got this 46 plus 12 times 3 because there were three 12s. Then we have 46 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12. Or this 46 plus 12 times 4 here. But I want you to see the... Um, if you take a look at the 4 and the 3... And here we have a 5 and a 4. What kind of pattern do you see between those two numbers? How did they come up with the 3? How do you get the 4 here at the end? Because that leads into the next part of the problem, part B. Part B said let N represent the number of minutes the eruption lasts. Write an expression using a variable n that could be used to determine the waiting time for the next eruption. Some of you would say that this would be 46 plus 12 times n. The problem with that is, is when you go to do your check here in C, you wouldn't have gotten the right answer. If you notice, recalling back to what I asked about the pattern between how many minutes the eruption lasts, and what we multiply over here. If you notice, it's always one less because we don't start with term zero, we start with term one. 
So we have to take that into account right here that we start, this is my first term. So this will always be one less than what term I'm working on. Now, I do want to make a note over here. I went ahead and I also did the distributed property, which we'll talk about later this week. So I went ahead and I did do the simplified version of this. I had 46 plus 12n minus 12 because I distributed the 12. And I got 34 because 46 minus 12 is 34. And I kept the plus 12n. I want you to know that if you came up to this expression after you simplified if that's the route you chose even when you go to do steps C and D you would get the same answers it would come out all right in the end okay so here I did a double check with the two now again note that if we did not put the n minus 1 and we did 46 plus 12 times 2 instead this would have given us 46 plus 24, which would have been 70, which is not the value for 2. You'll actually notice that it's 12 minutes too high. So that kind of goes back to that minus 12 in the end. Okay? Again, let's talk about D. D asked us to solve after an eruption of 12 minutes. Now, we could have done that with the table. We've already extended it out to 8 back in question number 3. But do we want to continue to keep adding 12 repeatedly? I think it's probably better at this point to use this expression because we don't want to keep saying 46 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 repeatedly till we get to that 11th 12. So if we come up with this expression, it's easier to use to get to our answer. And there's a chance for less error to happen with doing this rather than saying plus 12 repeatedly. Because if you get a plus 11 maybe on accident along the way, you've messed up all your answers from then on. So I would always use a double check with the expression. You can always go back to the thing if I wanted to extend the pattern back on question three or four more times, I should still get 178 minutes. Your debriefing question on the next slide is an open-ended response. Go ahead and take a moment to answer that question. 